The first I know you already know that it will be good. Taste it first, let me see. So she can get done a brother, one thing is so he said the boss something to call it. So I bought it so she was over 30 minutes. You still a robot. Then the African social you boy up. You know the process is if well, can you say two years to call it such a hey my people? Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to face pasta for these guys or spaghetti. How you call it? Why you call it? But I got to ask them which one you want for me to face for them. First and invisible, I'm going to ask them. First, yeah. invisible, you yeah, come. First, let me ask first, first. First, what do you want for me to face? What? The spaghetti? Yeah. Okay. Invisible, what do you want for me to face? The same spaghetti? Yeah. Okay, so we're coming to cook spaghetti, guys. I'll show you how I cook for them. You get the spaghetti as we did, you get the spaghetti, right? And then the second step, you get the pot, right? Yeah. So, Invisible gave me the pot. Then Invisible get the pot. Okay, you set the pot here. And then now, after we put the pot here, we got to take water, put it in the pot, put it on the stove. And then when the water starts to boil, the second step, we put the spaghetti in it. Okay? Okay. So, we'll wait for the next step. First, we gotta put water in the pot. So let's put water in the pot first. Take the pot and put it to the pump. Let's go. Okay, and then let me put some water in here. Is that you do want to? You don't have to use that. No, 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 no. Let me get some water there. Forget it. It's very easy to cook. Guys in Africa know how to cook. So that's what I teach my kid. Invisible, what are you doing? You wash water. your hand in the water, I'm going to cook the pasta away. No. No, don't do that. Here's the third step. First step, get the spaghetti. Second, get the pot. Third, put water in the pot. And then, now water in the pot. So the fourth step is, I'll do the one. Do it first. Thank you. The fourth step is, for the set the pot on the stove. So, wash and see. Put the pot on the stove. This is the fourth step here. And then the pot on the stove is a glass. This is how the stove is. And then just turn the stove on. So let me move it to for your first and see. This is how get white yes, red. Guys. So the fourth step, you turn the stove on. Just like this. Okay, you need to go right there. Ah, the beauty of it. This one. So and then there you have the stove already thing on it right quick just like this. And then you put the pot on it. Now I know never touch a hot coffee man. Yeah. So and then you cover it. This is the first step. This if you want to add sausages to it, you just get the sausages from the fish that this ah uh, okay, close it, close the fish. And these sausages will be going in the invisible, you see? These sausages gotta go in the pot to boil. Why the water boiling? Before you put the pasta in, the pasta can get done fast with the sausages will be here to get, to get done. Chicken sausages. I think I will even redo this for gold diggers. Huh? Uh, gold diggers? Yeah. I'm not doing this for gold diggers. I'm teaching you guys how to cook. I can cook. I cook for myself. And so it's woman cooking for me with the food and tasting good, I know it. What? I know how to cook, I know you can very CC and things to use. So people, what I gotta do, I gotta put the sausages in the pot. It you can wash it. So as you see, I gotta put the sausages in the pot. Open the pot. As I was trying to boil and get all these sausages in here because I want to cook it. So I'm gonna boil before I add the pasta there. Then you boil. Simple as that, don't forget about the ice it will melt, everything will melt, red ball. So just leave it like this, do it spill over so you open half it. And that's it, and just wait till this stuff boil. When you boil the sausage, you know that you don't, you don't want to fry the sausage. Since I don't want to fry, you got to let it boil first. You got to cook it fast that way. So that will be done soft. So, and another thing you got to do, while the sausage is boiling, you can just sit around doing nothing. You got to get the seasoning, the onions, the pepper, everything to get ready. But I'm going to chill the pepper, pepper like in boiling, hot pepper. 
Now that sweet pepper, the food, you cook it with honey, no. And from Africa, we eat spices food. So like this, you get the pepper. This is what I'm talking about. The real hot pepper. You see that? There's pepper. So hot pepper is here. Hot pepper, fresh hot pepper. So this one will pay like four dollar, like four dollar forty three cent for it. That's the price there. Yes, uh, so get the hot pepper and get onions. You see, take one onions and then you get the blender and blend this up to get the pepper and the onion. You blend it all together in the blender. If you don't want to cook the pepper whole to match in the food, you blend it. So simple way to cook. I'm finishing pasta fast for you guys to see spaghetti. I mean, finish spaghetti quick for the kids to, to eat and then you see how it be done. First, invisible your lane. Watch and see. You see the pepper and the onion. I got to blend it. Yeah, I want to fry the, the, the I want to taste uh, like steam gravy. So I got to do that to eat with this. You see, in washing you learn, right? You learn it for your dad how to cook. Invisible. We cooking like real African, the real African way we cook in Africa. We won't see no pasta with sweet and stuff on the other. Jesus Christ! See, you get the pepper and the onions, right it, and put it in the blender just like this. You guys can see everything. Get in the blender and then you blend it up. Cover it. Just like this, lock it up and then you blend it up. So you put it in the blender, onions and the pepper in the blender like this. And then you lock the blender, you make sure you turn it and lock in there. Turn it and lock. Okay, now you lock as you get the sun. This is it, you blend it up just like that. Okay, and then nest it and the sausages in your body. You can see the, the body, but you gotta be done good. Yeah, yeah, the sausages is raw meat, so you gotta be done. So you boil for a longer time. Yeah, so, so you gotta wait for like five more minutes. You boil in the dry, add the pasta, get the pasta, will get done quick. Take a look. When you blend, you see it. I remove the top. Take a blend with the onion. This is a blender that I use here. That's the knee. You see it. Making the stew, making the stew for the pasta. The fire pan while the sauce is boiling, you gotta make the stew. So, making the stew, you can use the white oil or the red oil. For meal, we we'll use white oil so it can look good, but the red oil too can taste better sometimes. Or depending how you want it to be. So I prefer using the white oil so it will look good. But red oil, there's no problem with it. This oil is the same oil the milk white. So how not to make the white oil and the red oil? So we're using the white oil for the pasta still. Some people will say. What the guy talking about using red oil, you can use red oil. There's no rule so you can use red oil in cooking. I'm uh, using the white oil because I want to use. You can use red oil, you can put pepper oil with it. You can even use any oil. Butter, even butter you can use the face of steam. It won't kill you. So, I uh, use the white oil to face it. Why the sausage is still burning? I huh? enter the, put the pasta in there. I want the sausage to get done, get the raw meat. So, that's it while the oil getting hot here. And now I'm coming to take the pepper that we use a spoon. You got a two spoon doing the so I use a spoon to take it up. And the black pepper here. The black pepper here and then the chicken soup, the market cube. You get a shrimp cube and you get a new round cube too. The market cube. So what happened here? I'll show you the cube. So the I'll use the smaller cube and the shrimp cube for the flavor. So that's it. First, you learn it. Yeah. Learn how to fix your own pasta, but I could even choose. I could even choose to add a tartar sardine in this the stew that I'm facing. Yeah, I want for this stuff to fry. Or 
I can use the bunny dust. This is like a ground fish, how to dry fish in the ground. The herring fish, the herring ground. So you dry the fish, you get hard smoke the fish when you dry it. Hard dry fish, and then you can grind the dust, make the palo. You see, you can use it. So I won't use the sardine because sardine will make the food to smell fresh. <laughs> no, sir. It's not a sardine. So, and then the cube that I use also is the, the maki cube. This one. So, meaning after this is the kind of cube we use. The maki cube. But yeah, it's hard to find it. So, you gotta get it from the African store, so my Chinese store. The maki cube. These guys taste better. They taste better, the maki cube. So, I'm going to put the pasta in here. So, I just try it in the front. Uh, First thing, do you guys know what pasta meal? Yeah. No. What? Pasta. You know what the pasta meal? What they use to face the pasta? The spaghetti? Mm. Eh? Yeah. You use flour. The flour used to bake the bread. Flour made from cassava or corn or edo or yam. Anyone. But the ground flour dust is the one they mix and then make it take that you can use to bake the bread. And roll it or slash it thin like this and dry it off. That's what we call pasta. So this is made from Cassava mini, the pasta here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we we'll see that they don't think a special thing made from pasta. So we can cook the whole pasta. We can cook the whole pasta. We'll cook like half of it. Get the pot. You see, the pot is not that big. Yeah. So ah. we're cooking half of it. That's pretty good. Five So just like that, you add the pasta, broke it up into two sections. You add in here the bowl. Let me use the, the bigger spoon and stir it up. Very bold, it's such a very such a good yeah, yeah. I it. So far, you see, you learning good. You see what I'm doing here? Yeah. So, I'm there you boil for like, until the pasta can get done. You don't know how long it will take. So, just wash it with done soft. Then, you're ready to take the steam from here. And I uh, will still stay making it. As you can see, everything is on the spaghetti boiling there with uh, sauces. And as you can see, we add a little more boiling dust and paddle fish. It's a paddle fish that I'm adding. I don't want to face the pasta with tomato, that one that different with the fish. I know that too, but you want a different flavor of pasta I'm facing here. This is strictly the another way we prepare pasta in Africa. I'm from West Africa, so you see this thing is very spicy. The hot pepper, onions, and the market cube. In Africa, we say chicken stew or this uh, yeah. And then the uh, sunny body. I want to add tomato. Tomato will teach the whole color and the flavor. I don't need that. I want it to be just white like this and very spicy. So as it's spice, they, even this spice, a little that they put on anything, fish or anything to eat, it's very tasty. And when you facing this stew that they, you see, you can sneeze, that means not sneezing well. If you sneezing, it ain't sneezing. So, like I guess sneezing, you want to face away from the food. You got to be sneezing. If you sneezing food and facing it, you see, you can sneeze. And if we see so well, what? Uh, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. So, that one of the things they gotta know you gotta taste the food to know if it's seasoned well. You see yourself sneezing when you're doing the thing, I mean, the food seasoned well. Learn today. <laughs> Boy, if you. Yeah, as I thought, this is how it's But you gotta tear your head all the way. You can sneeze all the food. I tear my head away. So. Not what it feels. So don't tell me that I'm not still here. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Yeah, so everything here is very tasty. I can try my finger in there to taste the food. Mmm, very tasty. The sauce, very tasty. Hot. It's tasty. So, that's the next. Quite an invisible. You are smelling the soup, the stew. Mm? Yeah, you're sneezing. Yeah, you know why you're sneezing? You know why you got sneezing? No, yes. Okay, why why you're sneezing? Because of the food. The food sneezing well. 
When you see well, you got to sneeze. You hear it? First invisible. The fool sees it well. That's why you sneezing. You hear it? Your daddy can cook. Your father can cook. You hear that? I'm going to say you are sneezing because the, the, the steel is sneezing well. When you, it's sneezing, you can sneeze. You hear that when your parents cooking? Anytime you hear someone say the parents cook to the one, you can sneeze. Especially the little bit of tea, the fool is sneezing well. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. How, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Okay. So right now, I'm going to add a steel to this. Why is it so you can mix with it? And then, you wait for the final time to eat. So let me do that. So yeah, I just added the sauce. You see that? The sauce to the pasta here. So the whole pasta tastes different. Not tomato, you put tomato in any pasta, you can put tomato in here. It's not taste good. You gotta get different flavor of the pasta. So the one, as you can see, the food tasting very good. Very good. You try the other one. Prepare what I show you. So let me leave the stove. Let me put the stove on. So let me just wait. After stay, let me just wait. And then everything settled down, then time to eat. And the chain will tell you how the food tastes. I'll show that it tastes damn good. I've been cooking for you. Take it. <laughs> okay. You can see how juicy this thing looks. The pasta, the color, everything different. So I see in there, everything. Yeah, not every time. You should taste it the other way to the dish. You see? See the spice in the dish. The oil, everything. Very tasty now. Huh? We'll see what you're eating. I'm kidding, I'll eat it soon. So now, I come to give the children the spaghetti. This is how it look after facing. This is the spaghetti, how it look. I get some people ask, but why the spaghetti, the pasta so small that you give to the children? Well, when they eat too much, they will disturb. You know? Oh my god! The children soon will feel the beat. If this way I'll be causing love, you eat too much. So they want so they can spoil the food. You gotta do it like this. Easy, easy. First sneezing, first sneezing, because the food is spicy. It's well seasoned. So, you got a taste spoon or fork. But fork is too dangerous for the children to eat with the fork. You eat pasta with spoon. You eat pasta anywhere here, so you can use a spoon to eat. You force a new fork, okay? So, you're going to eat the food. No, for, if you want to taste it for me, tell me how it tastes. Yeah. It tastes good. It tastes bad. It tastes bad. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's how you cook. The first, I know you already know that it will be good. Taste it first. Let me see. So she can get done a brother, I won't tell you. So he said the boss of the court is like a body social for over 30 minutes. You still a robot. Then the African social is boy open. You gotta wait the process. You see, Fred, because he's a two million in the court is hey my people. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! So first the court at last. Uh, taste it. Just taste it, Sasha, and tell me. The pepper, yeah, the season, you think there, but it tastes good, it tastes good, it tastes good. First confirm it, first coffee, it tastes good. So guys, that's it for the pasta I'll face today. Bye, see you in the next video.